Dear viewers, welcome to our channel. Today we will talk about Apex Bit, including visible Apex Bit, and we will also discuss about different types of Apex Bit. First of all, let's see this video. In this video, you can see there is a visible Apex Bit which is approximately in the left sixth intercostal space and just lateral to mid clavicular line. Let's talk about Apex Bit. First of all, definition it is the lowermost and outermost definitely palpable cardiac impulse when you find a palpable apex bit then you should see the site distance from the midline nature or character of the apex bit about site localized in which intercostal space it is do not forget about dextrocardia where it is on the right side its normal position in the fifth left intercostal space one centimeter medial to the mid clavicular line distance from the midline is measured with a measuring tape normally it is nine centimeter from the midline now we will talk about nature or character of the apex bit it may be normal tapping heaving thrusting or diffuse let's talk details about this first of all character of normal apex bit the normal apex bit gently lifts the palpating finger then heaving apex bit heaving apex bit is a forceful and sustained impulse lifting the examiner finger that is pressure overload it indicates left ventricular hypertrophy causes include hypertension and atrial stenosis what is the mechanism of heaving apex bit in order to compensate for the increased pressure load on the left ventricle, the ventricle enlarges inside, making it more likely to be palpable. In conditions of increased afterload, ejection of the blood out of the left ventricle is prolonged throughout the system, giving the impression of a sustained impulse through to H2 or second heart sound. Then thrusting. Thrusting apex bit is displaced diffuse non-sustained impulse that is volume overload it is also called hyperkinetic or dyskinetic apex bit it indicates left ventricular dilatation and it is found in mitral regurgitation and aortic regurgitation or dilated cardiomyopathy what is the mechanism of thrusting apex bit the mechanism of thrusting apex bit is in volume overloaded states the frank starling mechanism produces a more forceful ventricular contraction then come to tapping apex bit a tapping apex bit is neither sustained nor forceful not lifting the finger it is the palpable first heart sound found in mitral stenosis and rarely in tricuspid stenosis what is the mechanism of tapping apex bit one suggested mechanism is that reduced ventricular filling caused by stenosis over the mitral valve results in shortened outward movement of the apex which creates the short sharp tapping quality an alternate theory is that the stenosed valve provides an obstruction to blood flow into the left ventricle resulting in elevated left atrial pressure which delay mitral valve closure instead of slowly gliding shut the thickened leaflets are slammed or suddenly closed under higher pressure at the start of the systole resulting in a palpable first sound that is tapping apex bit the double or triple apex bit where two distinct impulses are felt with each in systole each characteristic of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. The mechanism include in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy a combination of a stiff thickened myocardium with or without left ventricular outflow tract obstruction leads to higher left ventricular and left atrial end diastolic pressures. A forceful atrial contraction can be felt that is one ripple a sensation of outward systolic thrust with rapid ejection early in systole is then palpated that is second ripple then a sustained late slow ejection of blood from the ventricle can be sensed that is third ripple now displaced apex bit the displacement of the apex bit is related to changes in the heart size whether via hypertrophy of the muscles aortic stenosis and left ventricular hypertrophy dilatation of the heart such as dilated cardiomyopathy displacement of the heart such as intention pneumothorax in other set of the heart such as situs inversus or isolated dextrocardia skeletal abnormalities such as scoliosis pectus excavatum pectus carinatum etc so thanks for watching